afternoon, fellow tankers. It's Commander Denali. Today, we're taking a look at the Tier 7 Japanese heavy tank, the Oni. This is a big, big tank. Um, it's huge. Um, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm really having some fun with it. Um, it has some really thick armor as well. And for how big it is, it's actually uh, kind of quick. So anyway, here we are just taking a quick look at it. Uh, and you can just see how how massive it is. Um, I mean, it, it is just uh, a very large beast. So as you can see, I've played a few matches in it, and uh, I've already upgraded uh, to the uh, first package, the bottom side, um, just so I could have that 15-centimeter uh, uh, howitzer. Um, fires 2.61 rounds per, per minute, has a very low penetration of 121, um, but it does an average damage when it pins of 700 damage. Um, so yeah, I'm having some fun with it, just uh, shooting light tanks, medium tanks, tank destroyers, and uh, being able to bounce a lot of rounds in the process, um, unless I get flanked or something like that. Um, the engine power is actually quite good for this tank, it's got 1100 horsepower, and for its size that's not horrible. Um, the aiming time on the gun isn't bad, it's three and a half seconds, but the accuracy is, uh, horrible at .56. So if you're going to use this, I would suggest, uh, doing close range, uh, encounters with it. Not trying to, uh, you know, snipe from one mountainside to another. So as you can see, I've got, uh, 20 standard, uh, AP rounds, and then I have, uh, 40 high explosive, and I don't run any, uh, of the premium high explosive, um, I just don't feel that the extra, you know, 20 to 30 pin on that is gonna, uh, help that much, because most of the time you're relying on splash damage anyway. Um, I do have the gun rammer, the gun laying drive, and the, uh, toolbox on this, so that way if I get tracked, you know, I can attempt to uh, spin around and uh, hit somebody that's flanking me and of course the uh, rammer for loading time and uh, gun lane drive for uh, aiming time so here we are here's the engine it's uh, like I said 1100 horsepower which means it has a power rate ratio of 11.05 horsepower to ton it can go approximately 25 kilometers in uh, forward and uh, 10 kilometers in reverse it does have a 20% uh, chance of getting caught on fire if you're hitting the engine. Um, the uh, standard reload time on this is a 23 seconds. The aiming time is three and a half seconds. And uh, it has some pretty good uh, elevation and depression over the sides or directly over the front. Um, but those gun ports in the front will block you from uh, getting depression. Um, the terrain resistance on this is not bad, um, at 1.3 for hard ground, 1.4 for medium ground, and uh, 2 for soft ground. Um, the rotation speed of the track is uh, 16 degrees. The turret has a rotation speed of 18 degrees per second, and the uh, base view range is 380 meter meters. The radio on this is kind of crappy, um, but it does uh, have a signal range of 425 meters. So, uh, like I said, I just used the derp gun, so uh, the standard AP round has uh, 91 to 151 millimeters of uh, penetration, and it, the damage ranges from 525 to 875 on a successful penetration. The velocity of the shell is 500 meters a second. The HE round has 56 to 94 millimeters of uh, penetration, and the damage goes from 683 to 1138 on a penetration, but it has a splash radius of 3.5 meters, and the shell velocity is better than the AP round by 40 meters a second, and it's 540 meters per second. Um, the a great thing about this tank is it has a lot of armor and it has a lot of hit points. It has 1,550 hit points. And as you can see, uh, it's got ammo racks all around in this thing. So you got to be careful where you're uh, pointing and what direction you're facing. This is a uh, six-person crew tank. Um, it's got uh, two gunners, a radio man, two drivers, and a radio or and a commander, I believe.
anyhow, um, we're not going to take a, a big look. We're not going to take a look at the armor at all on this. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to get straight into the battles. So our first match here, it's on Great Wall. It is an encounter battle, which means it has a flag in the middle of the little village in the E6, E7 area. Now on this, I either like to go uh, straight up the zero line and go around, or I like to go to the left here, down the J line, and I like to go there Our because that's where most people like to do objective. the fights at. Let's do it. So of course right away I'm going to load an HE round, and I'm going to go to the left, and uh, I'm going to rely on my teammates to go uh, towards the uh, little village and uh, kind of uh, protect the flag. So like I was saying, uh, this tank may be big, and you may think it's really slow, but it actually uh, isn't too horrible um, once you get it moving. Um, as you can see, I'm still at the front of the pack with the exception of the, uh, the T-21, the light tank in front of me. Um, but there are two heavy tanks behind me and a tank destroyer behind me as well. And there we go, we have a, a medium tank up here in front of us, and it's a tier 6. It's a knight. So my uh, HE shell should be able to penetrate him if he uh, drives in front of me. So it looks like we got plenty of people behind me coming down the uh, J and K line. And it looks like the light tank isn't running across anybody else over there, so we're going to come up the middle. And just as I say that, he spots a heavy and a uh, tank destroyer. But we're still going to push up here, that way if we're needed to uh, shoot down at the flag, we can, we can just uh, go through uh, the wall up there and shoot down any enemies that are there. They found us. And we're detected, and there's a Jagdpanzer IV, it's a tier 6 tank destroyer, and we're just going to hit One him in the lower plate if we can. Damage. And we'll just go ahead and kill him really quick. Starting now there's on. an enemy boiler maker, um, he penetrates me. And then he uh, bounces, and I'm getting shot in my left side. I'm not trying to expose too much of my side to either of them, so I'm going to back up just a hair, then I'm going to shoot the boiler in here. There we go, he's taken care of, so now I'm going to face the left. And that knight uh, took a pretty decent amount of my hit points there. Um, but now that he doesn't have a buddy to uh, help him uh, flank me, um, he's going to back down and uh, run away most likely. So we seem to be doing pretty alright over here. Um, total score is 3 to 1 right now, so we're up by 2 on the enemies. And we see a Crafts Panther down there. And we're going to go ahead and keep pushing this way, because it seems like our, uh, our team is doing pretty good on the other side, and they should be able to uh, watch the cap. So of course the knight did uh, completely run away. Um, he did tanks. not want to get hit by one of my shells. The enemy knows our location. But there he is. And of course I uh, tried to shoot before fully aimed in and he backed around the corner so I just uh, missed that shot. He probably could have pulled around and put a couple shots into me but he was probably he afraid of that tank block. destroyer that was with me. So we're almost reloaded, just a few seconds left. That craft panther doesn't even know uh, we're there apparently because um, he's just pushing around to help out these guys. And we're just gonna try to get a shot on him really quick. And there we go. Um, kind of a lucky hit there, but we ended up taking him out. So yeah, now we're gonna uh, keep pushing forward here. Oh, and there's an enemy artillery. That's a long-range shot, but maybe we can get lucky. Oh, and we do. We get very lucky on that shot. It went straight where I was aiming it at. The artillery did hit me and take a little chunk out of me, but I wasn't afraid he was going to one-shot me or anything. But, yeah, that's the uh, that's the power of the derp gun. I mean, I'm actually amazed we hit that artillery. Um, like I said, you want to try to keep the, uh, keep the encounters at a short-range distance in this thing because there's a lot of times your your shell will just go way, Focus way off target. Area. Even at close range, your shell can uh, can miss. 
I've had it happen uh, a few times. So yeah, now we're just uh, playing the cleanup game. Of course, there's one on the cap in the middle of the city, and those guys are all going to go get him. And I'm not sure where this other heavy was. I wasn't paying uh, attention to the map when he was spotted. Well, and there he is. He gets spotted just as I say that, right back here in front of me. So we're going to try to chase this guy down, um, even though we're not as quick as him. But he's got to hit some open ground here in a moment. And maybe we'll get a decent shot at him. Well, we got the back of his turret. And as you can see, it doesn't look like we're going to penetrate, but we can hit him with some splash damage. And 290 splash damage is not horrible. Not horrible at all. And now he's the last guy remaining. And while we try to get a spot that we can uh, catch up and pin, we're just, oh, he's low enough on health. As soon as we uh, reload, if we're aimed in, we should be able to uh, take him out. And there we go. We ended up getting a kill shot on him because somebody hit him right before we did. Mission accomplished. All right, so on that match, we ended up making uh, 44,000 silver. We made uh, 4,444 experience. We did 2,500 damage on six penetrations, and we destroyed five targets. We detected two, we assisted for 229, and blocked 670. We ended up getting a second class mastery badge and high caliber on that. And here's the team stats for anybody that wants to see that. Yeah, all in all it was a pretty good match. So here we are on okay. match number two. This is on El Halouf during the rain. Um, and yeah, on this map when you're a heavy tank, um, if you don't go left, especially if you're a top tier heavy tank, if you don't go left up to the, uh, you know, A1, A2 area, then uh, you, you're not playing it right. I mean, that's just, that's my opinion on it. I mean, I don't We've like uh, heavy tanks coming. that think they're snipers and want to uh, sit back in the back go. and uh, act like a tank destroyer. So, yes, we are going to go to the left. We're going to try to... Uh, get some close range shots on some people. And if you look at the map here, it uh, looks like a lot of people are going to stay back and uh, try to snipe over the valley. So the great thing about the, uh, the ammo count on this tank, you have 60 rounds, so you can uh, try to take some sniper shots at somebody if you're trying to close the distance and you just can't do it. You can try to take a, you know, a random lucky shot and try to snipe someone, um, you know, if need to be, and you don't have to worry about the ammo count like, you know, in some tank destroyers that have their they found us. And look at this, we got a chaff move 100 meters away, and we're just going to derp one into the back of him real quick. So we got a pretty good shot on him there. That's a, that was pretty close. Um, he he did try to drive away, so he didn't aim in all the way. Had he not started driving, he probably would have waited and aimed in the rest of the way. And in that case, somebody else may have killed him before you know I had the chance to, which would have been fine too. So up ahead we have another chaff and we have a panther, and it looks like an enemy heavy over here to our front right as well. So the team is pretty much coming to a start. And we're catching up, so we're gonna just come up here, take a snapshot. We got a very, very lucky snapshot. Hit him for 883, set him on fire, and the fire killed him. And there's a tier 5 heavy, not worried about him shooting. Enemies got us in their sights! Chaffee can just sit off my front all day, no matter what. So we're just gonna keep pushing forward. Reloading! They destroyed one of our tanks! Yep. So coming around this corner, I probably should be a little bit more cautious. The enemy but knows our location. It's only Release seeing two target. enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out that BK really quick. Enemy then I'm gonna back destroyed. up and I'm gonna readjust myself a little bit. Because this thing does have a, a pretty long reload. Been detected. And if I let that T-21 just sit there and uh, fire at me all day and, you know, 
have aim shots without moving. But I'm going to take some damage. So we'll put 243 onto him, just a little bit of splash damage, and uh, we'll keep him pushed back while our teammates push forward on him, the teammates that are left up here. Um, so far the team is losing by one tank. The enemies are pushing around towards our flag and taking out the people that stay behind because most of the time those are the low tier players that just didn't get into the fight. And then we're going to miss a shot on the T-29. So, yeah, map awareness is a, is a great thing. I don't want to try to push to super hard towards target. the flag, um, you know, when they're, when they're up by a tank. Um, especially when I don't know where to hold them are, because only a few of them are spotted, or have been spotted. So we'll do another uh, 292 damage on that T-29 with some more splash. And then, uh, seeing our medium up there, um, go to our corner, we're going to go ahead and push up and we're going to help him out. Yeah. So this T-29 is kind of boned at the moment. I mean, he's fighting a tier 6 medium tank. He did get a good shot into him. Looks like artillery is firing at us over here. But I put two rounds into him now three. That was the lowest of all. With one in four, but it's tracked. And now the uh, Sherman can have named shot. And he does get one damage and shot. Ready to fire on target. But We're then he targeted finishes him by off with an tank shot from artillery. So now that I know that artillery is uh, fully aimed on me, uh, being a large target, it's going to be uh, hard to miss. Target locked. But now we're going to try to shoot a couple rounds over the middle here. Uh, since we've caught the score, it looks like a heavy tank just sitting down in the, the open. There we go. 347 and track him. Hopefully that tank destroyer pops out here in a moment and we can take a shot at him as well. The Churchill shouldn't target. last too much longer. Try to use this little bit more as cover. If I'm already low, he can still shoot over. He's got a uh, pretty good gun on him. So we're going to have to hug walls it a little bit closer now. Locked and loaded. The enemy knows our location. Oh, there's that Jackson. Unlocking target. Try to aim a shot on him. Ooh. Oh, slim shot on him as well. So this game, it looked like uh, a lot of things were in favor of. Uh, you know, haven't really missed. We've lost all our artillery. Um, had some very, very lucky shots, especially with the uh, dispersion of this gun. Um, it looks like we've got two people back defending and three of us pushing forward. The scores are tied at 10. And I don't want to go the uh, direct path straight up uh, where the medium went. Um, had, had anybody been there, he probably would have spotted them. And just as I say that, he dies, so he was spotted by something and uh, the artillery or tank destroyer took him out. Uh, probably a tank destroyer up on top of the mountain in the back. Over in the C0 or D0 area. Or he may even be in the A0 area, that little, uh, that little cup area, just uh, exposing his turret. So I got a medium tank up here, it looks like he's uh, spotting for me. I'm trying to get some spots in the way. Hopefully we can get up here, see somebody, and uh, take them out of the game. So we've got uh, nine damaging shots. Uh, I believe uh, two of those were from fire, so seven. We've got seven crits. We've got four kills, spotted one, and we've got they two trap target assisted. And there Ready we go, the artillery, M44. That was so I will return the favor and put one into him. Oh, and target. there is a Hellcat up on the mountain. So we're gonna go chase him down. Where'd they go? Taking shots from the right. That's the SU-85. Should be able spotted. to take plenty of shots from either of these guys. Target locked. And you know, bounce when they shoot at me from the front. We wait here for a moment now that we don't have to worry about artillery raining down on us. And it looks like he's just gonna dip down. So we're gonna uh, go to the right and uh, try to shoot one of these guys. Even though I can take uh, several shots from these guys, if they do hit me in the uh, ammo rack, I can suffer some severe damage. So I'm trying to angle at least a little bit from both of these angles. But now that that guy is behind the rock over there, I uh, can't shoot me or I can't shoot him. I 
I'm going to go back to where this Hellcat is. He's a, a little bit bigger of a threat, and he's a lot more mobile, so if I can take him out, there's no way he can uh, race over to our cab and help his uh, heavy friend over there. So the light tank's going towards the SU-85. Looks like he bounced around off of him. He seems to be doing all right. So we're gonna try to get up here and uh, get a shot on this Hellcat really quick. Oh, there's the Hellcat. Dropping target. And there we go. Take him out. The enemy's got only one tank left. And as we, we did that, this. it looked like uh, either the light or the medium, one of those two, ended up taking out the uh, SU. So with the heavy over near our flag, and he's fighting the medium, I'm hoping uh, I can get over to the enemy's flag now and sit on their flag, because this tank isn't the fastest tank, but Ready to fire. it would be really hard for me to make it all the way back if he does successfully kill our medium that's on the other side of the map. Um, the other two guys, uh, they, they're more mobile, so they should be able to do that. But just in case, you know, all else fails, um, I can at least sit on the cap, I can at least, uh, you know, get a tie if need to be, or, you know, if they run into a lot of trouble, I can cap out and win. I don't think there would be enough time for me to make it all the way back there. One of our vehicles destroyed. Now, if he chooses not to go to our flag, there's uh, just under six minutes left in the game. Focus on this and, location. Uh, if he comes this way, I should be able to uh, take him out. So the rest of this match, uh, it's a little boring. As you can see, I'm going to be sitting on the cap for a while. We know the enemy tanks over, you know, where that medium tank is going. And uh, we got the light tank, the ELC coming over here to help us out as well. But that medium tank is not spotting the heavy tank anymore. Oh, there he is. And he did not go towards our flag. So now I'm at the point where, you know, maybe we should go and uh, go after him because this ELC is really quick. He could come back and he could cap it out and everything like that. And right now it's just uh, just a deliberation, but we gotta make it quick. Only a few seconds left on the cap. We lost yep, friendly we're gonna vehicle. go after him. He killed our friend. We're trying to draw him out. Maybe he'll come this way. But I'm thinking, well, four and a half minutes. If the ELC stays, I should be able to, uh, you know, go towards him and. Uh, Maybe I can get lucky, spot him, and get a shot. But he's not trying to cap our flag or anything, so he might be headed back this way. So I'm just going to sit up here for a second and wait. And then if I remember right, I believe I asked this uh, ELC to go locate him so I can take a shot at him. Oh, uh, six cents went off, so I'm detected. Yep, there he is, T-150. What do I... Yeah, I tell him to follow me because... Yep, there we go. Because he's the last guy left and he's very low on health. He's nowhere near the flag, so we don't have to worry about him camping out. And he got a very lucky penetration there. And there we go with the accuracy. So now we're just going to uh, push forward. And there we go, that's what I asked him. I was like, hey, I need you to uh, keep him uh, high on just so need a target. Here. And, you know, this ELC driver, he's awesome. He's amazing. He was great. I mean, he could have sent that captain out and just, uh, you know, got a bunch of efficiency points from sitting on the cap. I mean, he was literally one second away from capping when he pulled off. Um, but when I did ask for his help, he just, no questions asked, he just followed me and he located this guy. And then uh, he even went in to try to get the kill, which, you know, that's fine. Um, but he sacrificed himself so I could get a shot. And, uh, yeah, I very much appreciate that. That was, that was amazing. You don't get a lot of people that uh, do stuff like that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes if somebody asks me, I'm going to probably say negative not do that. I mean, I wouldn't do it all the time, so I don't else to. But anyway, there we go. Got around behind him, got the shot to his side, and finished him up. We did it! We won!
All right, so on that, we made uh, just under 70,000 silver. We got uh, almost uh, almost 7,800 experience points. We ended up with high caliber, devastating top gun, steel wall, sniper. We did 4,000 damage on 12 penetrating shots, 7 destroyed, 4 detected. We assisted for 195, and we blocked 260 damage. And so far, um, this is the best match that I have had in my Oni. Um, that was my first win of the day, so I got the double XP bonus. My base experience was uh, just over 2,000 uh, experience. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun in this tank. But anyway, fellow tankers, uh, you guys go out there and kill some shit. I hope to see you on the battlefield. And don't forget, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. Until next time, fellow tankers.